And we've got a traffic incident along I-5 southbound that's created some delays out near Sutterville Road. KCR 3's Mike Desell is out there live with the update. And Deirdre, we are standing on the on ramp to I 5 southbound at Sutterville Road. And if you look down, you'll see the flashing lights here and off to the left. A white pickup truck, the one next to the tow truck. That is the first vehicle involved in this incident out here. What we understand, uh, based on uh, what we know at this point in time, is that a uh, pedestrian was hit uh, involved with that white vehicle by another car. Uh, and there is a second person, a passenger in that car that was also hit so uh, we can confirm at least one fatality here it does appear though uh, that there may be two victims of this incident here and that is why the response that you see and the reason uh, that uh, lanes are blocked now for part of this investigation further down the road there is another car uh, that is pulled over to the side of the road believe that may be the initial car uh, that may have been involved in colliding with the pedestrian, all of this being pieced together right now. Uh, I don't know if we have video, but I did drive uh, I-5 south of this just to give you a driver's perspective of driving through here. If the producer can let me know, do we have that video and can we roll it if we have it? Uh, if not, again, if, you, if we are driving southbound on I-5, just be advised that as you are approaching uh, the Sutterville overcrossing, this is where things merge down as two lanes are closed, or I should say uh, blocked right now for this investigation, that causing a slowdown coming out of downtown Sacramento. So uh, we'll continue to follow the investigation, give you the latest details on that. But as far as how this is impacting those I-5 commuters southbound,